Hello and welcome to another JMP video. I'm Jehoser Nerio and welcome to another installment of my Trove class Hidden FX. This is a series where I'll be going over all hidden effects on crystal rings and I will be going over one class per video and trying to explain how does every single class hidden effect works. These are going to be all solo hand test tests so there will be a lot of estimation on some of these stats and abilities. So if you yourself have the correct values on any of this video make sure to drop them in the comment section down below. Also in the comments, let me know which class would you like to see in the next video. I will pick the one that I see the most in the comment section down below. Try not to spam though, just as a little heads up. And like always, make sure to drop a like since it does help me out a lot. And also subscribe when I road to 4k subscribers. And with all that being said, let's get started with the Neon Ninjas Hidden Effects. The Neon Ninja has three hidden effects which are going to be called Float Like a Butterfly, Recharge, and Clone Jutsu. Starting off with Float Like a Butterfly which reads, gains a slow fall for the duration of Final Technique. So the Final Technique is going to be the Neon Ninja's ultimate ability. This ability makes your basic attack into a ranged basic attack for 8 seconds. Using a Shadow Flip will deactivate the ability. And with this hidden effect equipped, this ultimate ability will also gain a slow fall for the whole duration which is 8 seconds. However, you cannot deactivate this ability using a Shadow Flip similar to the regular final technique. So you're pretty much stuck in midair for 8 seconds. This ability is bad in my own personal opinion. Given a class as low fall, it's generally not that good. And even more so that this ability will cause a slow fall for 8 seconds. And this class is all about movement speed. And it creates way too many inconsistency. And for the majority of the time, you really don't need the slow fall. And the only function that I've seen is maybe regenerate while in midair, but at that point just use Celeste Emblem. It just brings you more benefit to actually use Celeste Emblem because it doesn't bring any inconsistency. And I'll just straight on say this, this is a bad ability and I'll straight on skip this ability, since it does bring more problems than actual benefits. And if you yourself want energy in midair, you might want to consider using the second ability over this one, or like I just mentioned before, using Salas Emblem. Speaking of the second ability, the second ability is going to be called Recharge, which reads, gain energy when dodging. It's pretty straightforward. However, this description doesn't tell you that this ability has a cooldown. So what it does is, when you press the dodge button, you will get full energy 100%. So in other words, it works exactly the same way as Celeste Emblem, but instead of using a flask, you just press the dodge button and you're going to get full energy. However, unlike the Celeste Emblem, the Celeste Emblem has no cooldown. This uh, ring ability has a 30 second cooldown, which is shown below your level as a symbol. This is pretty mediocre, I'm just going to say. I will still take this overflow like a butterfly, but this is very mediocre. This is a really, really brutal cooldown. 30 seconds is no joke. So despite this giving you less overall energy than float like a butterfly, I will still take it over float like a butterfly because it doesn't bring any problems and inconsistency. It's just a very small bonus. So once again, I would probably still say that skip this ability uh, since the last ability is pretty good for the Neon Ninja and brings some really good interesting benefits for the actual class itself. So let's go for the last ability, which is going to be Clone Jutsu, which reads, the clone created by Shadow Flip explodes at the end of its duration. So every time you press the Shadow Flip ability, alongside getting the movement speed buff and turning it into stealth mode, you also create yourself a clone. That clone normally takes aggro and disappears after one second. With this ability equipped, instead of disappearing, it will do an explosion dealing five times damage multiplier to all enemies in a three x three radius. This does not have a cooldown and the explosion will spawn where you press the ability, not where the clone is located. So if you're in midair, normally the clone falls for a little bit until it disappears, but the explosion will remain in midair where you actually press the shadow flip ability. So that is going to be something to keep a note of, it's not going to be where the clone is located, it's where you press the ability. This ability is pretty great, it brings out so many different and interesting tactics for the Neon Ninja. Since you're already using shadow flip literally every single time because of the movement speed buff, this ability also does a pretty respectable 5 times damage multiplier on a 3x3 radius. You can use this to kill enemies like Curse Call so you don't have to rely on basic attack or also throwing down the shuriken. Also, this is pretty good for newer players since it does help out in terms of actually dishing out extra damage 
while you're doing your regular combo with basic attack into shadow flip into the shuriken also just doing the shadow flip will also dish out some pretty respectable damage and it will help out in killing bosses and there's much more that you can just include like momentum building or as a runner in delves there's so many things that you can do with the clone jutsu so this is an ability that i would recommend you to actually get on the neon ninja and the only ability that i would recommend you to get and that's it thank you for watching as always and this has been all of the hidden effects for the neon ninja